Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for having me here tonight. It's a pleasure to be able to speak in front of you. Um, if you weren't welcome to look at my background on my website as well as at my cards on the tables there, but tonight I believe I should get into the actual depth of the issues and what the substance is of that's facing our nation right now. I've got a simple question to ask you. Are you better off now than you were 10 years ago? I think everybody here is going to say no. Are you better off than you were four years ago? I'm not even going to ask you to answer that one. Are you better off than you were two years ago? This past month, unemployment rate raised in 27 states, and now we've got the Federal Reserve because Congress and the White House have absolutely no idea, not to denigrate anybody, but they have no idea how they're going to get this country back on track, particularly the Democrats, and even some Republicans in the House and the Senate. They don't understand that printing more money, like Ben Bernanke has proposed, is not what's going to fix the problem. They've done it once, they've done it twice, the third time is not the charge, the third time is the definition of insanity. We can no longer afford to deceive ourselves about what we're facing right now. I would love to be able to bury my head in the sand and live my life as a young man, a budding entrepreneur, somebody who wants to do something and to contribute to the society and to build a family. But the reality that we have before us is much greater than that. We do not have the ability now to continue to send the same people to D.C. that are cut from the same old cloth to expect different results. Who have you seen here in this district that says, I want to serve as your representative? It is not just a duty. It is not just a privilege. It is an obligation that I be here and serve as your representative. In the more dozens of campaign events I have been to, I have not seen our representative here. When he had the opportunity to be here, what I saw was a man partying at the Beverly Hills Hilton. What I saw was a man going to the White House Correspondents' Dinner to yuck it up with George Clooney and Barack Obama. That's not the priority that this district deserves. That's not the conservatism that this district deserves. As your representative, there is one solemn promise I will make to you beyond representing you conservatively. It is the simple fact that from my background, I'm a geologist, I know there is one thing that is keeping this nation from becoming energy independent. There is one thing that is keeping this economy from becoming on track. It is not just government regulation, it is the EPA. It is time we got rid of it. It has outlasted its usefulness.